He went from being Bull Durham to being a bitch on the view. I mean, how fucking backwards can you go? All right. everybody I know holy shit he's on his bike <laughs> we finally got a decent day as you can see if you live up north you can be jealous because yes I am wearing a t-shirt it is December 27th and I'm wearing a t-shirt on my motorcycle finally got a decent day when I was home so I can go riding so uh, I got questioned why did I go political a little bit. And I'm probably going to go political more. I'm going to do some on this one. <coughs> if you follow me for a while, I, I've struggled with content, okay, to get on, put on, the, you know, the YouTube for y'all. Uh, I'm a truck driver. Nothing super exciting ever happens hardly when you drive trucks. So. I have nothing to talk about, really. You know? And when you're a truck driver, you're pretty much, that's your life. You know, other than a couple days off you get off during the week, you know, or whatever. But, you know, I start my day, and I don't end it until my week is done. So, it ain't like I get to go home every evening. So I run out of content, you know. And being political, pretty damn easy content to come up with although I did I did get my fishing license today so there will be some fishing I'm telling you I've said it and said it and said it there will be some fishing I also got permission for one of the ranges out here to do some recording at the ranges so that will be coming too ah oh, man what a, it is a little cloudy it's 71 degrees Just ripping it up a little bit. Hey y'all! Y'all check this out before we get into the video. Alright guys, well check this out. Now this is not a sponsored ad. I did not get a discount for purchasing this, purchasing this product or anything like that. It just, if I run across something I think is pretty good, I'm going to let you know about it. Alright, now a lot of you know my primary weapon is a Smith & Wesson SD9VE. The only modifications, modifications I've done to this is I put on True Glow, True Glow Night Sights and a uh, Old Light PL Mini flashlight. It's the only modifications I've done to this. Now, the only problem I got is my helmet's fogging up. Is it's hard to find a, a light bearing holster for this. Now I did find a long time ago. A generic one and it works fine with the light bearing holster with the PL Mini problem is I keep breaking it parts I've used from other holsters I mean you can see this don't even fit it you know kind of thing but I keep breaking these and it ain't that comfortable it's a good stiff polymer but it, it just ain't that comfortable to wear all right especially if you sit a lot all right so I found a company, they're called Craft Hosters, all right, and on their website, they had a whole bunch of, of massive listings of pistols that they will make hosters for light-bearing pistols, all right, all kinds of them, all right, staggering them out. Well, I found an SW9VE, which I wasn't too sure if that was the same SD. 9VE that I have, but I figured it'd be close enough. And I also didn't have one with a Olight PL Mini listed there. All right, they had it for a uh, the new Olight Pro, but not the Mini. So I went ahead and ordered it, hoping it would fit. Well, before they made it, they make them, guys. 
This takes a little time to get these if you order one. They sent me an email asking more information about the gun I had. So I told them it was a, S, a Smith & Wesson SD9VE and I had an Olight PL Mini on it. All right. And they made me a holster, a good quality leather holster. And, uh, of course, here's a box that comes in. When you get it, it'll be wrapped in, uh, you know, the, the foam socket came in, and this had straw on it, and I've already gotten rid of it. But you get, you get instructions. I keep trying to lick my finger. Right here, on how to break it in. Three different ways of breaking it in, as well as care for your holster. All right, all that on that page, and they also make uh, 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 Kydex and, and polymer holsters and uh, nylon holsters, and uh, so all that down there for care of them also. All right, so you get that with it, and then you get just a little welcome to the club kind of thing with a bit, you know, with a card. And then, you also get a sticker, alright? Now, the break-in, since I didn't have some of the materials for this stuff, the first break-in says just do the plastic bag deal, where you put your gun on a plastic bag, force it down into the, uh, the holster, and leave it overnight. And actually worked alright, but it didn't work good enough for my pleasure, or pleasure, for, you know, made me happy. It didn't make me totally happy. It worked, but it didn't make me totally happy. So what I ended up doing... <laughs> I left it here on purpose and now I can't find it. There it is. Was I actually took a, a fairly worn sock. Stuck my pistol in this fairly worn sock. And then stuck it down in the holster overnight. And that worked perfectly. Just a little tip for you. I wouldn't use a brand new sock. Because they're probably a little thick. Too thick. But this little uh, footy kind of sock, stuffed it down in there, left it overnight, and it's perfect. Just a little tip for you. But um, I thought I'd give them a shout out because uh, I am impressed with it. Here it is right here. It's good quality leather. And uh, hey, man, it works. It's a lot more comfortable than that, than that uh, uh, plastic damn holster. So I'm impressed with it. If you'd like to uh, check them out, I mean, their website's pretty neat. <coughs> Excuse me. It's Craft Holsters. I will put a link down in the description so you can go check it out yourselves. Absolutely love this holster. All right, well, I hope everybody had a, uh, a good Christmas and a happy new year. Yes, this was filmed on the 20, uh, recorded on the 27th. But y'all won't see it till after the new year, so I hope your new year has started out good. I hope your mine does when I get to it. Hey, I made a mistake last video. I said it was the uh, DA in Virginia that said the law will be enforced and followed. I knew it was the AG, Attorney General. I knew it in my brain, but for some reason I was stuck on DA. So it was not the DA that said that, it was the AG. Hey, let's talk about Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro made the statement that he would love to smash our president in the face. <laughs> Listen, Robert De Niro is a nutbag of an actor. Okay, he's a good actor, I'll give him that. But he's still a nutbag, alright? I mean, look at him. He went from being Bull Durham to being a bitch on The View. I mean, how fucking backwards can you go? Alright? Anyway, so he put that out there. He, he feels that way, and he's more welcome to feel that way, you know? And it never happened because, well, I, I wish it would because, of course, he'd go to jail and everything else. And, <laughs> but he'll get, he'd get nowhere near the president. Anyway. But, and I hope this would, if you know anybody that can get this to Robert De Niro, let him see this damn video right here, please. 
because I'm going to do this, all right? I'm going to stand up for our president, Mr. De Niro. How about you come smash me in the face? Come smash me in the face and see what happens to you. Come on, skin that smoke wagon. Because you ain't nothing but a nutbag actor. And you're acting tough. That's all you're doing. You ain't tough. And if you don't take me up on this, you ain't got a hair one on your ass. What the hell is this retard doing? So come on along, De Niro. You can figure out a way to get a hold of me. You want to meet up and smash me in the face? I'll let you smash me in the face. But I'm going to whoop your ass afterwards. Plain and simple. Oh, I hate people like that. Act tough when they ain't no damn tough nothing. Ooh. So please, if anybody knows some way of getting that to Robert De Niro, please do. People are staring at me. Alright, let's talk about how great is it that a bunch of other counties throughout the other United States have decided to uh, declare themselves uh, Second Amendment sanctuaries. How great is that? Keep going, everybody. Virginia, keep, keep, you know, Virginia's in the strong fight. But uh, keep going with it. Even Florida's got some. New Jersey. <laughs> we got some in Texas, even. I think there's seven counties in Texas that are Second Amendment sanctuary counties. I know what you're saying, Matt. It's Texas. Why do they need... A Second Amendment sanctuary. <laughs> Much like Virginia, we have these uh, these weird places. Matter of fact, one of the weird places even has you can get shirts and mugs and all kind of shit that says "Keep Austin Weird." And they tend to go retarded down there. Same with Dallas. Dallas tends to go retarded. So yeah, we need sanctuary counties, cities, and every towns, everything also just like Virginia does. Just in case. So, but that's pretty cool, man. There's, I know Indiana, I think, was the first one to really start the sanctuary, Second Amendment sanctuary counties. And, uh, and it is, it's spreading like wildfire, guys. I mean, it is spreading, spreading. <coughs> the governor in Virginia just came out put in his budget, <coughs> excuse me, with a whole bunch more money for the, uh, the corrections institutes in anticipation of arresting a bunch of people for breaking the law. So like I said, he added a bunch of money into the um, corrections budget with the intent of having to jail a bunch of people. Like I said, I think he's, he's got a big, big surprise coming. Yeah, it's got to suck to live up north. Mm -mm -mm. It's so cold here right now. <laughs> but I'm riding around in my t-shirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I could be snow shoveling snow. And yes, I just left the Walmart park a lot, and I was open carrying. Oh well. So like I said, I put the, uh, a link to the holster company that made my leather holster down in the description. And as usual, I have my favorite Second Amendment uh, channels down there. Uh, Shade Tree Service Channel, one of my favorite uh, YouTube or photo bloggers. Well, a link to his uh, Patreon where you can go to Discord and hang out with them over there. And our equipment and everything else, links to our Facebook page, Instagram page, etc., etc., all down in the Read More section of the description. Go so check it out. Please go down and you know, click, click that thumb, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Our channel gets throttled back. Word them out, guys. Spread it. Tell your friends, neighbors, complete strangers. That way, you know, this channel can continue to grow. We appreciate it.
everybody just jumped on lately. Uh, we'll keep punching them out. Like I said, they're, I'm telling you, I keep saying it. There's some fishing ones coming. There's a uh, range day coming. Uh, all kinds of stuff. With the grandkids. Got to fish YouTube on real good. So you know how it goes. If you served, or if you're currently serving in our nation's military, if you're a firefighter, EMS, first responder, especially law enforcement, we appreciate everything you do for us and the sacrifices you and your families have made. Ladies, flash a stranger today. Boom. So you know how it goes if you've been here a bit. Yeah. 